Welcome back to Sexy Sense, where the scent is so sexy you're guaranteed a friend. Today, we are reviewing Primark fragrances. Hmm. But before we begin, recently I've got quite a lot of comments saying that my audio and my video quality suck. So, in order to change that, I'm gonna order a brand new phone and a microphone so you have better quality content. Now, that's fixed. Let's get on with the fragrances I'll be reviewing today. So, the usual shtick, I went into the store of Primark, picked up three random fragrances. I didn't read any labels or anything because I think, well, if I walk into your store and you got good fragrances, I should be able to pick out any random ones and like them. Now, first one we've got Noble Night, which is a woody, smoky oriental, which, funny enough, all of these are orientals, which, I don't know, maybe my subconscious mind, knowing I like orientals, was picking this out for me, but anyway. Next one we've got Urban Explorer which has got, let's see, uh, citrus and apple in it, balanced with a warm cinnamon and a woody base. So that's quite interesting. And the last one I picked up, it's quite interesting. The name got me. Blood Orange with woody oriental leather notes. Let's get on with the first impression. Now, obviously prior to this, because obviously I've tried these fragrances out now, but I... Wasn't expecting anything big from Primark. Obviously, these were, all of them were very much under a tenner. I think it came up to like £15 or something. So, my first impression was genuinely that the bottles looked really, really cool. I mean, the Blood Orange impressed me. I really loved that. Noble Knight, which I found interesting, reminded me of, uh, I don't know. Tell You comment down below what it reminds you of. And then Urban Explorer, which is pretty simple, but reminded me of a Zara fragrance I picked up recently. So, let's begin with my first impression of Noble Knight. Now, when I first sprayed this, I loved it for a split second. It was reminding me of something I've smelt before. Now, and then five seconds later, it went south. I must say, this honestly smelled cringy and I don't use that word very often but what it reminded me of was one million now in my opinion if you watch this channel you've heard my opinions about it I hate one million and in my opinion I just think there are better fragrances out there if it works for you it works for you but this was their very cheap copy of one million and Ugh. So, let's get on with my first opinion of Urban Explorer. Now, the way I'd have to describe it is, if you've ever heard anyone say, oh, he's wearing cheap cologne, or he smelled like cheap fragrance, this is the fragrance that comes to my head. Now, I have personal issues with this fragrance because uh, it smells very similar to something that my real dad used to wear and me and him don't see eye to eye. But personal opinions aside, it's an alright scent but I'd still suggest other fragrances. If you've got a tenner, you can go to Zara, there's beautiful fragrances there. This one I just couldn't wear and just didn't like for personal reasons, so this one also gets a no from me. But one positive I have to give to Primark for their fragrances is that the atomizers they use are really, really good. I was surprised when using this, if I spray some here, it's a metallic atomizer and I'm impressed, so... You get a point for that. Let's get on with Blood Orange. Now, I will let you decide my first reaction to this by me spraying. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I cannot believe I've just done that. Right, so. Stink. It stinks. It's awful. This fragrance is overly sweet. It's very easily you will choke people out. And 
it doesn't smell good, it's overly sweet, and the best way I could put blood orange is it doesn't annoy me, it pisses me off, it drives me nuts. You could not wear this as a fragrance to a date, winter time, summer time, you could not use this fragrance as an air freshener because anyone who's going to walk in your house is going to run away. This fragrance simply annoys me and before making this video I smelt it once again and I gagged so ugh, no no so there we are the three ugly stepsisters Primark right am I gonna go for my fragrances again in Primark absolutely not I am not touching that little shelf you have got there. One, personal reasons. Two, awful, awful, awful remake of One Million, which, personal reason, I just don't like One Million, but this was even worse. And three, you've just seen my reaction. Now, my rating out of 10 for Primark is a two. And the only reason it gets a two is because the bottles were semi-cool. Anyway guys, I'm gonna have to bin these. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are into shorter uh, 30 second clips, I'll leave a link in the description to follow my shorts playlist. Quick 30 second clips teach you something about fragrance. Thank you so much, stay sexy, and I'll see you next time.